Hey Capricorn, this is Moon Pie Tarot. Doing your next three months love reading, love in general. Okay, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links are below this video. And also all the other information. You want to follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. Um, yeah, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Capricorn, we're starting with June here. Oh, I just felt the need to go this way. Okay, June, July, and August. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I will tell you right now, Capricorn, you're getting some new love in August. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. June is a month of solitude. You are like not saying anything. You're in hermit mode. You're going within for clarity. You're on a quest for personal truth, spiritual illumination. You're in like, there's a completion and endings happening here. There's some, uh, some type of accomplishment. You may be studying or learning something. There's a, an element of under, trying to understand something. Um, transitioning right your base chakra is also here as well as standing your ground so let's take a look at solitude here okay you're going within perhaps from some type of sense of loss or grief or sadness maybe some type of a relationship ended or there's a feeling of like pain um, Maybe you're feeling abandoned or feeling unloved and you're just kind of going off the radar for a little while here in June, okay? Uh, could be sometime around June 9th. But with your base chakra here, I also feel like you're in survival mode. Your body, your money, your safety, your shelter, all of these things are very important to you. I, I don't know, you might be, you might be going into solitude for healing okay you're just you might be just making this decision on your own um maybe something occurred in may and you're like you know i need to sit with my feelings i need to sit with my emotions and just try to like <sighs> grieve i feel like there's a grieving energy happening here for you but the base chakra what's going on here this is all about the things that you have holding on to the things that you don't have and not desiring the things that you don't have. <laughs> so you've got the sun. That's a positive experience for you. It's kind of like stepping back and looking around you and saying, you know what, I'm grateful for what I've got today because what I have is amazing. I'm not gonna sit in a position of want or need because then I'll always be wanting and I'll always be needing. You're finding the gratitude you some of you might be making gratitude lists and saying you know what i'm grounding myself okay i have my child my children my grandchildren or just one you know i have my i have my joy i have my horse <laughs> some of you i've got the beach i've got the sun i've got sunflowers i've got light you know these are the things that i have these are attainable tangible things and i see you grounding yourself and you know, this is an energy of like, you know, I have my my money to provide safety and shelter for me. Like I feel you're just going back to the basics. Now you also have stand your ground. Jan, uh, June 7th might be something that you need to stand your ground with. Okay. Um, you need to, okay. You have some kind of a new perspective, some kind of um, like an awakening of some sort that's happening here in June spiritual awakening it's kind of like you know what you're defending your position that's what i feel like where you are in your life in the month of june um you're accepting it and you're defending it as if it's like you know you might be living out of a trash can but you're defending this like it's your castle like it's a palace made of gold you really are you know that's piscean energy we have leo um, you really are kind of like, 
You just have this wisdom about you. You have a different perspective. You're starting to change your view about yourself, about your life, about your surroundings, all the things that you have, okay? Because maybe you were always in a place of wanting and that, and that made you sad or made you feel like you were that part of the have-nots group versus part of the haves. And I feel like you're going in and you're like, you know what? I don't need all that. I don't need to be competing um, with everyone. I don't need to be um, trying to be this, I don't know, it's just kind of picking up like a Kardashian kind of thing. You know, like I don't need to be that. I'm, I'm grateful for my successes and my joys. So you're really getting into like a good place in June. Um, July, you've got patience and planning, triumph and new beginnings. So this patience and planning energy, it kind of feels to me like you are, you've got some stuff in July that you, that you, I just see you start planning some things here, but you know, it's going to take a while to see the fruits of your labor, but I feel like you're going to be triumphant. And you're going to stay positive and then these new beginnings start happening here for you but let's get some more clarity on patience and planning okay queen of swords yeah you've got your knife out <laughs> you've got your sword and you're being completely honest with yourself about what you want you're not messing around in july you have your game plan that's how I feel. You're putting a game plan together for yourself, for your life. Like you have come to terms with where you are and where you're hoping to be and hoping to go. You're like really set. You're not settling, but you're appreciating and accepting things around you. Okay. Um, that grief or whatever that you are, you know, going within and just healing, you're, you're coming out of that. And you're just like, okay, um, I'm good. I'm actually, the things that didn't work out were not meant for me and I'm good and I'm okay with that because I've got a whole new start ahead of me. And here you are at the Queen of Swords getting completely honest with yourself, being completely self-sufficient, as a person, being intentional in your directions that you're taking in your life, being very strategic as well. That's the that's the planning part. You know, you're you're not just looking at tomorrow. You're looking at, you know, if I go, you know, if I make this move, which way is this going to go? You know, or if I go this way, which way is that going to go? It's like you're playing chess with yourself. You like you're being very strategic in your moves now. And you have triumph. So you have the seven and the seven. Seven, 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 and seven. You have four sevens. Look that up. That's your meaning. That's your number for um, the summertime. Um, triumph. Success, success. This is what you're trying to have. It's, that's real like chariot energy. Like action and change. Some of you are going on a journey. Maybe you're taking a trip. You're getting a new vehicle maybe. You're buying a new car. <laughs> Um, some of you are just like, yep, change. Some of you might be coming into money or trying to make that happen. And I see success with that. But the wheel, you know, that's like things will start things. You're going to start seeing things will start turning in your favor sometime around like July 7th is going to be really symbolic for you. Okay. Um, there's a massive change coming here for you. Things like a turning point. That's how I was feeling. It's like good luck. Some of you, if you're going down to the casinos or if you're going to go gamble a little or, you know, do some, play some stocks or do something like that, you're going to do well. And this is going to open up a new opportunity for new beginnings. That's the fool. Fresh hope. Taking chances. New paths and adventures and new beginnings here. So you're on like this brand new journey in, in uh, July. Oh, you have temperance, peace at last. Peace, moderation, self-control. You reach a place of patience, harmony and balance. Uh, Sagittarius energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo. Um, you have like a beautiful new start coming here um, in July. Now August, huh. Material harvest. 
I'm going to tell you, like, you've got crown chakra. Crown chakra means I know that I'm going to meet somebody. I know I'm going to be happy. I know I'm going to be okay. This is like the connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. But look, okay, you've got love begins. And you also have um, material harvest. So single, independent, making your money. Like you go through this whole journey these next through these next um, three months. But there's an energy here of like your wishes coming true. You know, financial gains and solo pleasures. I just see you like starting over and you get back up on top. And then new love comes in. Let's see this material harvest. Okay, Queen of Cups, nice. All right. You're you have some some type of healing thing you might be doing or exploring um a nurturing energy, receiving healing support or giving it. Really getting in tune with your, your emotions, it's healing. This healing brings material abundance for you, like in the finance. It's not even like necessarily financial, but it could be. But first, it, it could be material abundance. But there's wishes coming true and like good health and good mental health. Look, you've got the six of wands. So seriously, this is like total recognition and success coming here for you, August. There's good news as well. This crown chakra, what's up? Okay, now you don't know if you want to be in a relationship. Capricorn, you just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know, I have so much to choose from now. I'm doing so well in my life that, you know, maybe I'm not really wanting to commit to anyone. You know, you're just kind of like, uh, I don't know, let me, let me see what you got. Okay, you over there, show me what you have. Okay, sit down. Are you over there? Let me see. I just feel like you have all these options coming to you. <laughs> and now you can like pick and choose because you've come out of something and now everything's coming to you and now you, you're not in a place of need or desperation. Not that you ever were, but you were definitely hurting from something in the past. Definitely. Feeling unloved or abandoned or just not worthy to someone. Um. But look, now that all of this is happening here for you and you come out of this, and now that you just kind of like, you take a, now you can pick and choose. Now love comes. Now real love comes. Ooh, the shadow side. Yeah. De um, this is the devil energy, of course, but it's your card. Um, and I, it's such a shame. Like, please don't think that, you know, just because you're, it's not the devil is ruling you. It's the planet, which... I forget. I'm sorry. I forget what your what planet is. It Saturn. I think it's or Jupiter. I'm sorry. Are, is Jupiter such shares? Yeah, I think it's Saturn, isn't it? But anyway, the shadow side here. This is the devil energy. It's like I have to tell you, Capricorn. Somebody's coming in here like crazy obsessed with you. I mean, seriously, somebody's coming in here envious but like super super obsessed with you huh could be another capricorn oh this is somebody you might have separated from well isn't that just the way oh gosh somebody could be it may not be somebody you separated from but it or, or it could be for some that you took time away from but there's also an energy of like this person may be coming from far away, but look, you've got the lovers. So this is your twin flame coming in. <laughs> this can be Gemini energy, but this is someone who is, you know, this is like partnership, love, harmony, self-sacrifice, loyalty, right? Somebody coming in here, both of you being in that energy and coming together. I mean, it's really, really, really beautiful. The end of the summer, um, I feel like, all of the summer is just going to be about you grounding yourself and getting real with yourself and getting your game plan, getting your playbook, sorting everything out for what you want for yourself. Okay, these new beginnings, you're successful. 
there's a turning point change is happening for you in a very positive way and you're going to be in a position no longer in need but able to choose and that's when love comes in right towards the end there the end of the summer to start the fall all right let's take a look here the summer is just going to be a magical journey for you I mean, it's all about you. You know, the sun is about self-love and unconditional love for self. So you're on it. And you pick yourself up pretty quickly in June. Pretty darn quickly. Okay, a couple of cards here. Okay. Yeah, see? Five of Cups again here. Focusing on the negative. Things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden, hidden blessings. And I feel like you do. It's not rejection. It's protection. And I feel like that's a really strong message for you. That they're giving that twice here. To look for the hidden blessings. Could be a child. All right. The Ace of Fire. An amazing opportunity comes to you. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about, Capricorn. And look, you have the chariot. Do you have it again? Yes. Rewards that come from hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and willpower. And you are getting some public recognition, Capricorn. That's cancer energy here. Like your emotions are driving you to succeed. You're channeling your feelings. Driving you to succeed. That's what this material harvest is. The Queen of Cups. That cancer energy here. Those emotions driving you to material harvest and success. Channel it. Take the blood that you've shed and build an empire with it, Capricorn. Or a moat and keep all those intruders out, <laughs> whoever they may be. All right, plant those seeds. Seven of Pentacles, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. Nothing for you to worry about, not after this reading. And you have the lovers again. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, and recovery from an illness. How beautiful. And he stands there with the caduceus. And the caduceus is not in the lovers card. It is in the two of cups. So this just tells me there's a very healing energy coming here that spurs love i feel like you know i know you don't want to hear if you're healing from a heartbreak or some problems or something i know you don't want to take all summer and you want to get out there and you know meet somebody but i feel like your messages here for this time period is focus on self love yourself heal your heart go places with people spend time with your loved ones just really live and enjoy and be in the sun and laugh, 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 because all that energy gets released. You know, the heat, the sun burns all that negativity up. It, it lights the way and things just start happening. You know, you, you are attracting what you are when you're happy and when you're like really making an effort to just get out there and find the blessings, then you start attracting that light to you, right? So don't seek love. Position yourself to attract love. If you seek it, you'll never be happy. And I feel like for you, you're like, no more with the have-nots. All about the haves. And watch what happens, Capricorn. Watch how your life changes. All right, I hope you have a great summer, great three months. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all very soon. Take care.